lost, so I had to tear my Xbox apart again because my fan's driving me nuts. It's got a squeak in it. And I believe there's holes underneath this tape. I haven't seen any um, videos on on uh, Xbox fans. And if I'm right, they're the same as a computer. So if you take that piece of tape off, it should should uh, give some holes, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm thinking about taking it right off. I've already disconnected it. And uh, take a really good look at it. So let's see what happens. So I got the fan off. Uh, when you take this off, you only want to take off one side. You don't want to take off both sides. And uh, the holes are on the back side. So I don't think this is the same as a regular uh, computer, laptop, or desktop. But I gotta do some more further investigating. I mean, it spins fine. But I can hear the squeaking. Now, if I'm wrong, and it's in there, well, there isn't much I can do that, or the hard drive. And then I'll find out, but I'm gonna put some oil into this fan. Stir it up, see what happens. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna put oil in those holes. I took this, cut the center out of this. I'm thinking there'd be a zerk in there. But uh, that's a retentioner for the spring. For the fan, and uh, I can't really see. But uh, anyways, this is a 3-in-1 sewing machine oil. I don't have actually 3-in-1, so I'll just use sewing machine oil. Uh, I don't want to use a vegetable oil, I don't want to use motor oil. So I'll put in those holes and see what happens. Be back. Okay, fan spooling up. I'm going to run this, see how this works. I can sure feel it giving off a heck of a lot more air. Everything's got to be tightened back up. That ribbon cable, that is a pain in the ass. I have to take that off and put it back in. Yeah, that makes me nervous. Didn't take me long to do it. I, I was surprised. I thought it'd be harder, but isn't that cool? What is that? Well, that's from the light. It's pulsing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just waiting for Xbox to come on. I've got it on standby, so it takes longer than usual. And we'll go into that game and see what happens. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to keep playing here. I've been playing for about 20 minutes. I'm going to find a, another spot where I can play. And uh, hopefully that'll drive the Xbox up a little bit harder. It hasn't squeaked yet, so I think I solved the problem. Not 100% sure yet, but we'll find out. Come back later. So I played two games. And it's been about... Oh, I don't know, 45 minutes since I've had this on. And uh, I'm getting some heat out of it. But I think I, if I put the dust cover back on, it's going to keep the heat in there. And that's probably where I'm getting the squeaking from. But I don't know. It's not squeaking. The fan has always run good, but it's always squeaked. I have this little squeak in it since I've had it. So, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Hopefully this solved the problem. If not, whatever. Uh, I could replace a fan, but I don't have the money for that, so I'm not taking the fan apart because I don't feel like doing it. But I noticed that uh, when the dust without without the dust cover, there's less uh, heat coming out of this. The dust cover there seems to be more heat. I'm just wondering if uh, 
it's not ventilating properly, but it's clean. I mean, I cleaned the crap out of it. And it's not even dirty. I mean, there's hardly any dirt in there. I've always uh, vacuumed it over the seven years, six to seven years I've had it. Eight years, whatever it is. But anyways, that's that.